This is an electric powered plane. It's one of many being unveiled this year. So is the aviation industry becoming more sustainable? And when will the world's jet setters actually start flying electric? This is the world's first commercial all-electric passenger aircraft. It's a prototype, but the aircraft's creator, Israeli company Eviation, says it's expected to enter service in 2022. So this is the Eviation Alice. The unique selling proposition of this plane, besides the many benefits of it being a very sustainable aircraft with zero emissions, is actually the fact that it makes economic sense. This plane will cost $200 a flight hour to operate, a fraction of what a similarly sized and similar performance aircraft would cost to operate. And really this is the business case and this is the reason we started the company. The fuel bill for the global airline industry last year was estimated to have totaled $180 billion. In 2019, the fuel bill is forecast to rise to $206 billion, accounting for 25% of airlines operating expenses. The impact of fuel prices on airlines' revenues is clear. Since 2010, the rise and fall in the price of fuel has had a direct correlation with airlines increasing and decreasing profit margins. So this is inside the Alice. Careful not to bump your head. It's pretty small in here, pretty tight. Oh, just about to get into the seats, but the windows are massive. It's like something out of the future. But while it may look futuristic, the Alice isn't the first electrically powered plane to take to the skies or even the most environmentally friendly. Back in 2016, the Solar Impulse 2 was the first solar-powered aircraft to travel all the way around the globe without a drop of fuel. But while that was a single-pilot endurance flight, the Alice, which can fly 650 miles on a single charge at 250 knots, was designed for the everyday traveller. That means you could get all the way from Paris to Barcelona without stopping to charge up. And is that this plane's long-term purpose, to be a regional commuting plane? We see this plane as one of the first opportunities to create a competitive ticket price for flying the distances that you would normally drive. US regional carrier Cape Air has already put in a double-digit order for the Alice plane, and British low-cost airline EasyJet is working with American startup Wright Electric. EasyJet says it will start using its electric aircraft, which fly distances of less than 300 miles, in its regular services by 2027. And the drive behind it, is it cost-cutting? Is it the environment, or is it both? The drive behind it is is clearly the environment. Uh, we, have, we have to do something different. I wouldn't say cost-cutting. I would say we need to consider, you know, our, our strength as, as an airline is our value for money. Uh, there's a tremendous demand for low emissions aviation amongst consumers uh, and also amongst airlines. Uh, lower fuel consumption means lower costs as well. That's one of the nice things about this space. The environmentalists and the technology people are very aligned because everybody wants to lower fuel consumption. But what about airlines that need to fly longer distances? Around 80% of aviation CO2 emissions are emitted from flights traveling over 1,500 kilometers, about 930 miles. As of yet, there is no practice alternative mode of transport. The global aviation industry produces around 2% of all human-induced carbon dioxide emissions and 12% of transport-related CO2 emissions. The industry has volunteered to cap its overall emissions by 2020 and halve emissions by 2050. One report found EasyJet is currently the major airline with the lowest carbon emissions per passenger. By 2020, EasyJet's aircraft are expected to be emitting 75 grams of CO2 per passenger kilometer, less than half of Korean Air's emissions. But there are still a number of challenges for shorter distances too. For example, capacity. Alice holds just nine passengers and two crew members. Whereas popular planes used for short-haul flights such as the Airbus A320 and the Boeing 737 can easily seat more than 100 passengers and cover over 1,000 miles. The benefits of electric planes go beyond a reduction in fuel emissions. These students from Delft University in the Netherlands are taking part in GoFly, a $2 million competition to create the world's first personal flying device. Their Team Silver Wings machine is electrically powered, something they chose over a traditional jet propulsion engine for a number of reasons. It's fully electric powered, so we have an electric drivetrain. We could have easily powered it by a traditional motor, but we really don't want to, you know, be the trend followers. We want to be the disruptors. So with electric motor, you can just spool up very fast. There is no lag between the performance control. There is less vibration because you don't have an IC engine in it. There is also lower noise which is a crucial aspect. In aerospace, we focus on sustainability uh, quite a bit and efficiency quite a bit. 
um, and it's something that I think more and more students uh, are worried about and are focusing on. There are some hurdles to overcome, but yeah, in the distant future we are definitely thinking of uh, electrifying aviation. These students and many others have put a lot of time and effort into developing a single personal flying machine prototype, but commercial aircraft is a much larger undertaking. So who's ultimately funding it? So the development costs won't impact the passengers that buy tickets to go on the plane? Bringing a new plane to market is a gargantuan task. The cost of this uh, development, it's been significant, but the direct operating cost is the main driver of ticket prices. Energy and maintenance is really what you pay for. And the fact that this plane is electric really hits those two nails on the head. Our goal is to have lower costs because fuel is such an expensive part of, of an airline. If we can lower the fuel costs of being in an airplane, it's better for the environment because that's less carbon in the air and it's lower cost for consumers. So when will we see electric aircraft up in the air? In our lifetimes, we'll actually have the chance to see all aviation potentially be electric. We hope to have our airplane on the market entry into service uh, in the next decade or so. This could be certified in today's regulatory environment. We don't need any rule changes, but it will take time and I expect that no one will be able to buy a ticket for this before sometime 2022. I've come from a time when electric aircraft was impossible uh, to an idea, but now I think we've turned that corner where everybody's saying this is going to, has to happen. Uh, and it's just a question now of of when. Electric planes have been talked about as a possibility for many years, but seeing them on the tarmac and even up in the air shows that this could be a practical solution to the economic and environmental challenges that the industry is facing.